The ratchet pawls are part of your small engine starter assembly. When the starter rope is pulled, the pulley rotates and the pawls extend outward, engaging with the starter hub. Over time, the pawls will wear and fatigue. Eventually, they can be broken off. Replacing the ratchet pawls is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the motor cover. Before you can remove the fuel tank or the fuel line, you'll need to drain the gas from the tank. I've done that ahead of time, so let's get started. The fuel tank is secured to the engine with three screws up top and one down below. I'll go ahead and remove them. With the screws removed, I can remove the tank. Now remove the blower housing. First, I'll remove the screw that secures the oil filler. And I'll tilt the filler off to the side. The housing is secured with four screws. With the screws removed, I can remove the blower housing. With the blower housing and starter removed from the engine, I have access to the underside of the starter. I'll go ahead and remove the screw that holds the starter together. As I do this, I'll need to be careful that the starter doesn't come apart because the spring is under tension. With the screw removed, I can remove the cap. And now I have access to the starter pawls. I'll go ahead and remove them now I can install the new pawls. The pawls fit over the posts on the pulley. With the new pawls installed, I can reinstall the cap. And secure it with the screw. And now I can reinstall the blower housing. I'll realign the filler neck with the housing and secure it with the screw. Now I can reinstall the fuel tank. I'll place the fuel tank around the starter. Align it with the holes in the blower housing and secure it with the screws. and I'll reconnect the fuel line. And I'll finish by reinstalling the motor cover. And that's all it takes to replace the ratchet pawls on your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 